Hi, and welcome to the final session in our series called The Household of Faith. You know, throughout this whole series, uh, we've really been trying to get to the core of our faith. We've been trying to make our faith sort of real and relevant into our everyday lives. It is our hope that through the Household of Faith series, um, there has been some kind of change or we've been kind of engaging in a way where you're thinking about your relationships at home, uh, how you are as a person, and that it's a, it's not just a, so that it's not just a series that, that runs through church, but that somehow church crosses over into your everyday home life. And I guess that's really been our heartbeat. We've been looking through the F, A, I, T, and H components of Household of Faith, and each one of them has been mapped to the fivefold ministry because we really believe that God's fivefold ministry is His plan for you. That all of these types of gifts from the, from the apostle to the evangelist, pastor, teacher, um, and, and even the prophet today, that they've been designed and gifted to us to enrich and equip us for ministry. So today we're in H and it's holy and set apart. Um, let's read 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9 and, we, and to hear what scripture has to say about it. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. You know, we are holy and set apart. But I bet if you're anything like me, you would turn around and you'd look at your husband or you'd look at your wife and you wouldn't, ju you wouldn't just normally naturally think that your family was a holy family. I know for years and years I, I didn't think I was like a holy person. And maybe that's because we in today's ordinary use of the word holy, um, I don't, I don't think we actually capture what the Bible means when it talks about holy. When we say holy, uh, we think of things like uh, clergy with, you know, collars. We think of people who, who only watch G-rated movies or, 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 or can't listen to music uh, where there's a mention of the word kissing. We think of holy as external things that people do or holy as maybe something that is so good and so fantastic that it, it, it is somehow above normal. It's holy. But the Bible doesn't do that. If you look through all of Scripture, God is continually using normal, everyday things. In fact, some things that are dirty, some things that are corrupted, and He's calling, He's setting them apart. And He's saying, you know what? This normal bush, this normal person, it's set apart for my use. That's why He calls us um, a holy nation. God, at our lowest point, while we were still sinners, set us apart. While, he was, while we were still weak, He sent His Son to die for us. So I think holiness in the Bible is, in the Bible is more like, I think the, a good analogy is water. If you use water, you'll see that water can be used for all kinds of things, for drinking, for, for, for washing your guinea pig's uh, cage, for bathing. But, but water in the temple is called holy water. The molecular composition of that water is still the same. It's still the same kind of water that you're having water fights with and washing your car with. But God has set aside that particular water for cleansing of people. I think for us, we're like that. God uses the everyday things, our everyday family, to be set aside for him. A good example for me is Pastor Jonathan Xiao. Um, not that he's, you know, looks particularly holy or he dresses holy, but uh, because he uses ordinary mediums uh, that are then set apart for God. He uses photography, film, video, and he uses that to film testimonies of people, to give glory to God for the teaching of God's word. And, and we all know that the film medium has, has been 
it's, it's this medium that has all kinds of other purposes that people have used film and media to promote uh, pornography through to violence through to their own individual agendas but it is possible to use film and media to advance God's kingdom and so that's why I think John he's a holy pastor uh, we also then uh, should think of ourselves as holy we should look at our lives and our families and go, you know, I challenge yourself, your home group to look around after this and say to your home group, we're a holy home group. Why? Because it's set apart for the purposes of Christ. Um, the prophetic is like that. We're called as prophets to be purely dedicated for God. So can I challenge you today or this week even in your workplace when you Look at your job and you go, hey, I'm an accountant or I'm a teacher and I'm going to school. That you would look at your profession, you would look at your role and you would go, that's holy. I, I'm set, this teaching job is set apart for God. I hope that you would look at your family and your relationships and you would go, I'm not to be like everybody else because while my friends can do this, I belong to God. Our church is a holy church and we're set apart for his purposes. So enjoy the discussion on what holiness is really all about and I hope that you would reconsider your view on holy and that you would see yourself as a holy person set apart for God. God bless.